We are keeping you ahead of this breaking news. This is happening in Gwinnett County. What you see right there is a plane on 985 northbound. 985 northbound shut down after that plane landed on the highway. We don't know the circumstances of this yet, but you can bet we're reaching out to police right now and fire officials to try to figure out what happened and if everybody's okay. This is completely shutting down traffic off Woodward Mill Road. This is close to the Mall of Georgia, also not far from Lanier High School, if you're familiar with this area. Um, the southbound lane is partly closed. You can't see it in this shot right here, but I can tell you traffic moving very slowly as people try to get through this area. News Chopper 2 is on the way right now. We have a Channel 2 Action News reporter and photographer headed here as well as we are working to get you the very latest on this plane sitting on 985 northbound and all of those emergency vehicles trying to deal with it. This is right near the Mall of Georgia. If you know that area, it's the spur off of 85. This is 985, not far from the Braves minor league ballpark team. You know, the Cool Ray Field, home of the Gwinnett uh, Stripers. So that's the area in town we're talking about right now in Gwinnett County. And there you see a bit of a wider shot and it's northbound where nobody's getting through. Traffic, you can imagine, is just backed up for miles and miles. And it appears that pa traffic is barely getting through on the southbound side there on the very far right uh, side of your screen. And I want to tell you a couple of things we've noticed as we have been watching these live pictures. One are all the people who are walking through the area. You can see they're just in that grassy area and towards the median. Uh, they feel safe enough to walk around that area. Again, we're checking to see who was on the plane and if they're okay. We've also seen two tow trucks get into position. One of them just turned around. Fire trucks on the side right there, and it looks like one of the tow trucks is kind of nose to nose with the plane right now. Um, as we are watching these live pictures along with you, again, this is 985 northbound in Gwinnett County, the small plane on the highway. We have seen this before uh, on 285 a few years ago as you got closer to town on I-285 where we had a single engine plane go down. And um, we are hoping that this one, this situation turns out well, that one did not. What we do not know is the condition of everyone, but as Linda remarked, the plane is largely intact. You've got the, f the most forward part of the, the landing gear, the, the nose wheel uh, landing gear portion. Uh, if you're an aviator, I'm sure you can correct me on exactly the proper term, but nevertheless, um, you can see where it is the nose that is down uh, on that single engine plane we just don't know any details that we have not heard from witnesses in terms of from anyone who saw it go down or how violently it went down or what exactly uh, was happening. We do have this live look from News Chopper 2 for you right now. We also have a photograph that was sent in for us just a little while ago, um, which was a look at the airplane on its nose before really any traffic was around it or any first responders were even there. And it is also pretty remarkable that there are no cars involved in this from what we can tell. I mean, at any given moment on any right. highway in Metro right. Atlanta, you know, it could be bumper to bumper. And however and whenever this plane actually came down, it's not on top of a car or not entwined with a truck. So mm -hmm. they uh, were able to bring it down onto the pavement. Uh, we're hoping that's good news for all the drivers in the area and of course anyone who was on that plane. It was really helpful to see that shot from News Chopper 2 and we're working to bring you that signal back. You can see it right there. A lot of people in um, what looks like firefighter jackets standing around right there. Uh, several crews of people getting closer to the plane and they have blocked all traffic. Traffic is not going through this area while they deal with this emergency situation. A plane on 985 northbound. First responders uh, train and practice for every scenario. This is a pretty unusual one happening live in Gwinnett County. And, and you can understand why you see a little bit of the pavement on the right side of the wing there, uh, the right side of the airplane. And you may think, why can't they just at least let a narrow group of cars go by? And really it's because it's probably an active investigation scene. Then there's also the potential fire hazard. Um, you don't know what the oil situation um, the, the fuel situation is on that airplane, so they're just going to keep it blocked until they can clear the airplane and deem everything to be safe. And as we get a first look at these closer images with you as well, uh, it's pointed out to me that it does look like there is a little damage to one of the wings, which uh, may have something to do with why it came down. It may have also happened as it came down. Uh, one of the many things investigators will look at because there's several stages for this. First, they have to see if anybody needs help right away. 
deal with the traffic situation, getting it off the road, but then it likely would be NTSB investigators who would take over if it was any sort of aviation thing eventually. Uh, but right now, the priorities have got to be getting help to people who need it and then getting traffic moving again, get this safely off the road. And you're looking at live pictures that were coming to you from News Chopper 2. We are also checking with these live DOT images so we can show you the backup traffic 985 northbound going nowhere. The drivers in that area have been stopped for more than a half an hour now. I just cannot imagine how long they will be stopped. Uh, obviously, first responders trying to come up with a plan and get this plane moving as quickly as possible. If you are just joining us here on News Channel, <clears throat> Channel 2 Action News at 4 o'clock, Here's what we have. Uh, roughly 30 minutes ago, we had the breaking news where we saw the single engine plane uh, had ended up on the expressway, I-985. And so we immediately started covering all of this. We were on the air live with you as the first first responder vehicle, a fire engine uh, pulled up on the scene with fire rescue personnel um, doing the marvelous work that they do. Never saw a fire or anything like that. Um, we do not know the number of occupants in the airplane. Uh, we didn't see any ambulances take anybody away, uh, which doesn't mean one thing necessarily or another. I'm just reporting that we did not see that kind of activity. What we do know is that this is uh, I-985 northbound. You can see the southbound lanes barely getting through on the very far right side of your screen. This is Gwinnett County, not far from Mala, Georgia, not far from Cool Ray Field. If you know that area well, maybe if you were heading towards Athens, you've driven by this area. That's uh, what we're talking about. And one thing that we are checking out right now, too, is what airport this plane may have left from mm -hmm. and where it was heading. Was it about to land? Did it just take off? That's one of the many things that authorities will be checking out right now. Uh, this is not that far from DeKalb Peachtree Airport, which is one of our busiest airports in the area, but it could have been another airport too. It could have been smaller airports in Cherokee County or the Lee Gilmer Memorial Airport. Uh, just one of the things we're checking out right now. You can see fire officials are there, uh, many police cars there as well, uh, looking to see what the situation is and what they can do about it. This plane landed on 985 northbound this afternoon in Gwinnett County, and the traffic that has stopped has been there for a while and will likely be there for a while longer too, affecting the drive in a major way at this time of day in Gwinnett County headed towards Hall County. Like all of you, we're clamoring to understand more about uh, what happened. Hear what you are seeing. Look at this live look from News Chopper 2, left side of your screen. That is a large flatbed 18-wheeler backing toward the airplane. Uh, one can only imagine that they're going to try to get that airplane hoisted up. I believe that's a very large wrecker that we saw on scene as well, the kind of wrecker that takes 18-wheelers, semis, um, when they need to be towed. So I imagine what we're going to see as we stay with this is that flatbed truck is going to get close to that airplane and they're going to hoist it up, get it on the flatbed and get it out of there. And then NTSB, they'll take it to a hangar and then NTSB will get in, in in the coming hours and days and they'll start their investigation. In terms of the responsibility of GDOT and first responders, after everyone's safety has either been dealt with or everything's okay in terms of the human beings involved, then they need to be responsible to the general public, and that is to get this roadway cleared that's extraordinarily well-traveled this time of day, um, 985, and they need to get the, the airplane out of there. They need to clear the lanes and get traffic rolling once again. You are looking live. This plane is on the Interstate 985 northbound in Gwinnett County. We are reaching out to Gwinnett County authorities as well as federal officials to find out the latest. Also key in the investigation will be what the pilot says. What did the pilot say happened? And why the pilot brought it down, where he did, when he did. Traffic is backed up. You're watching continuing coverage here on Channel 2. Uh, these live developments as the plane is on 985 northbound. Count on us. For more details, we'll bring you the very latest. We have Channel 2 Action News reporter and photographer on the way right now. We'll have a lot more for you all afternoon.